stuff here. All right, let's talk a dream hack roster moves. We'll actually bring up a post on Reddit that someone made that'll make it a little bit easier because he basically put all the interesting moves up. We'll give uh, some pros or cons to each move. Like, we'll give them like, oh, I think this is good, or I think this is worse, or I think it's neutral as some ratings, I guess. Um, so we got these two. And then if there's any other ones I missed, feel free to throw them in chat. Just at me. Um, if there's any other moves that we haven't seen yet. Uh, but let's go over this. So DreamHack Montreal qualifiers are this weekend. Uh, so basically the top three teams from NA, top three teams from Europe, the number one team from OC, and the number one team from SAM will get invites. And that is uh, in these qualifiers, not like their rank and whatever. Uh, so pretty important ish but uh, uh the one important thing obviously is montreal is literally right around normally when we start rlcs so you would think that teams would be trying to find their rlcs rosters at this moment it doesn't mean for sure that they are going to go with these rosters because obviously say you have a bad qualifiers right um if that happens then you can obviously change your roster until whenever roster lock is for the RLCS. But if you win qualifiers, now I don't know the rules for sure for this for DreamHack. I don't know if it's a two-thirds rule or not. Um, hopefully it's just like if you qualify as three, those three should play. Because I would really hate for like someone to qualify for Montreal, then get kicked from a team, and then th th like th uh, they don't get to go, which would be really, really crappy. Uh, so hopefully they have to play as those three. Uh, but anyway, here's the moves, and we'll go through them. So the Bricks, uh, seems like a lot possibly was trolling uh, earlier in the week, um, saying uh, that he's not on the Bricks and that he will be possibly retiring. When he said he's like, oh, I'm probably just going to retire. Like, I was like I, like, I don't believe you a lot. I was like, I don't believe this for one second. But looks like it's a lot speed and cooks here on the Bricks. So that means Mystic has been kicked from the squad for at least now. Who knows, going forward. Uh, I would say this is a positive. It seems like a lot in speed have some good chemistry. Uh, I've always been a big critic of Mystic lately, and one of the major reasons why I thought the Bricks might finish in the promotion spots uh, was just because of consistency with Mystic. And, um, yeah, so there goes uh, Mystic from there, and a lot moves up. I would say, yeah, that's definitely a positive for now. A lot, though, I think he still has a lot to prove, though, just because, like, on Mouse, he looked pretty decent. But that was on the offensive side of the field. Mouse Sports was a notoriously bad defense. And that's all three players, right? You can't throw that blame on just one player on a team when the team is that bad on, on the defensive side. So I think a lot, he still has some to prove for me, but I still like the move over Mystic. It makes sense. So some good chemistry there. Uh, next up, Ground Zero. Looks like Zen is subbing, I believe, on this squad because Zen hasn't had a PC for a while, supposedly. Uh, uh, this is what I'm hearing. And then we got Jules, Shady, and Deca. Like I always forget who's on whose roster because I always get confused with these boys. So let me go over here. Sorry. I have f forgotten about OC in the past month. <laughs> Sorry, OC. Um, so it was. So this is ground zero, which was. It was Deca, Jules, and Sicky. And now it's uh, Deca, Jules, and Shady. That that makes sense, yeah. Uh, Siki moved over to the Renegades, which is not on this list, I don't think. Oh, no, there they are right here. So Siki's on Renegades for Zen, which I think is a pretty good move for Renegades. I feel like they had to do something. I feel like Zen was uh, not the only, like, problem on that team, but I felt like that there was times, at, at least at the World Championship, where it's like, oh, like, here's some shots that you must hit when you're a pro, and he was, he was just missing them, right? And so I think that's a pretty good move for the Renegades. We'll say that's a positive uh, for Siki coming over. Then Shady's coming over from Icon onto Ground Zero. This move, I would say it's a little bit of a negative because I think Siki is probably better than Shady, personally, uh, from what I've seen. But again, like I don't w watch these guys a lot, so we'll see how that goes. And then Icon is playing... Well, I'm sorry, not Icon anymore, but Chiefs um, is playing with Hawk. Supposedly, he is 13 years old, so he won't be able to play in RLCS when that comes in, but... Maybe they're trying to find a third. Maybe Shady left for ground zero. I'm not sure how this whole thing went down. Who knows? Maybe Shady got kicked and there's someone else that the Chiefs are looking at. But uh, right now they're playing with Hawk for this tournament. So we'll see. Like uh, Some people are saying on Reddit that it's like, oh, Shady's just playing with ground zero here because the Chiefs want to have fun and play with Hawk. 
why why would you do that 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 makes absolutely no sense so i would assume shady will stay on ground zero and chiefs are looking for a new third uh because that would make zero sense like oh yeah you know what it's the summer let's just play with different people let's have some fun let's not get practice and like that doesn't make any sense so we'll see what happens there but that's the oce boys um moving over ghost game and mist coming in from the birds and the bees uh, for Lethemere, Memory, and Illusion still on this team. Uh, this one's definitely one of those moves that I think a lot of people are like, huh, this is kind of odd. Because, uh, like, Lethemere's been that captain for so long. I don't mind this move, though. Like, I think it's probably a positive because I th do think Mist is one of those up-and-coming players that could really show up in the RLCS. And honestly, like, for Lethemere, like, as that captain role, all he's done for the past three to four seasons is... Made questionable roster moves and just been a mediocre team for a long time. Now, I'm not saying that's necessarily all his fault because obviously, you know, things happen. There's uh, like inner problems. Like when they kept Zane Jackie for like two extra seasons, then I thought they would keep him for. And they just continued to be mediocre. They brought in memory, which is obviously pretty good. Illusion, I thought was questionable at first. I still think Illusion's like iffy. Like he has his moments, but I do think he also has his, his down moments. Like even when he was hot towards the end of the season i thought illusion was a little bit rough in spots uh but we'll see how this roster goes i think um if i was ghost it would have been either leth or illusion being kicked um if you want to bring in mist i'm not sure which one i would have went i probably would have went with illusion uh but i don't think it's like that far off and obviously it all comes down to that dynamic of whose memory like memory who is he friends with more right like at the time is usually what matters uh, so that's that squad. Team Afterthought, Sathew, First Killer, and Shock. Pretty solid lineup here. That'll be a rival series contender. So that's where Sathew went. And uh, First Killer, I think he's age uh, of uh, age now, I think. I don't even know. Maybe he can't play in next season. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but that's pretty solid lineup. Uh, Ghost Game, and I did say, yeah, it was a positive. Uh, Afterthought, it's kind of a whole new team, so it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Digging Toss. Moving forward, we have Yukio Von Pena and Astral still on the squad. And I think uh, Astral showed a lot of promise to me. Like, obviously, he has to work on his, like, defensive uh, rotation and all that stuff. But you need players that have that flair nowadays that can score goals by themselves. We saw that a ton at DreamHack, at least, whereas, like, Flakes was doing it, Chaussette was doing it, Justin was doing it, Astral was doing it. So I do think that'll help that team. We'll see if they stay together for the rest of the season because, obviously, all these rosters are not necessarily RLCS rosters. Uh, but this is obviously a negative because they had Turbo, but I think they're trying, you know, they're, they're trying something new. They're trying to, uh, to figure out a new dynamic, but it'll be a negative for a while, and we'll see how that, that all plays out. Uh, what else? Method. We got Rick's Ronde, Burrito B, and Mystic. So Mystic coming over. Who was on that squad for the Rival Series? Like, I think it's going to be positive either way, but, um, I forgot who was on. Because, like, they keep swapping their third. It was Ocelon. Okay. Um, yeah, so, so we'll see how Mystic does. Uh, we'll see if he can still compete at the top level, which I do think he can. I just think he has got to clean up some of that consistency issues. Uh, moving on, um, the Peeps, they bring in Atomic. So he was un un notoriously known for, he got banned for a year or so uh, from the RLCS because he was playing underage on someone else's account. I can't remember the other name off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, so he's here now though. He's ready to play. Explosive and Rettles over there. They were trying out Karma last time. They're trying out Atomic th uh, this time. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We've seen Rettles. He's like, he hasn't been too happy with his thirds yet. I think they're still trying to work it out. He's normally more uh, public about what they're trying to do. Um, uh, either way, like Arsenal on Space Station. I don't know if they're playing in the qualifiers. I assume they are. Uh, but I would say this is a negative for now. But we'll see how um, Atomic does. But, um, yeah, like I think the peeps got a little bit worse because of this. But who knows? Next roster, we got Complexity. Snasky is the new coach over there. He left Dignitas, or they parted ways, and now he's moved over to Complexity. And honestly, you know, there's one thing I want to point out before we get into the roster, which is obviously important. You know, I'm just going to go in on Snasky a little bit here. Snasky, I'm sorry, bud, but when you're a coach 
And someone calls you out in Reddit saying like, oh, he probably did a terrible job of coaching because Dick and Tosh didn't do well. You don't throw your players under the bus. All right, Stasky. I'm sorry, bud, but you, but you, but you don't. He's like, you know what? I did a really good job. The players just didn't play well. That's basically what he said in a short form. That's not just be like, hey, you know what? We collectively as a group didn't get the job done. So he had it right. <laughs> but whatever. It's not a huge deal. But Snasky's moving over to Complexity as coach. Uh, Turbo coming over to Complexity. You see no flakes on this list. Greasy and Magnus as well on this team. This roster move, who knows if Flakes left or not. It looks like, based on Twitter, that Flakes got kicked. But who knows? We don't know the full story. But say he did get kicked, I'm pretty surprised about this. I would think you would go Magnus, Flakes, Turbo. I think that would probably be the better roster there. Um, you know what? I, I, like, I'm actually going to say this is a negative. Because I think Flakes was keeping complexity afloat. And I'd say this could be a negative. Like Turbo's obviously great, but... They could have done better. Like, maybe it's a neutral, I guess. Because I, I don't know if this is going to change how good they play or not. We'll see. Like, I think Turbo had a down season, but he's not terrible, obviously. He's a really good player. And he showed up well at DreamHack. But I'm going to go neutral because I think Flakes has been one of those up-and-coming talents. Now, say he left, then you're very likely, you're thinking probably TSM, right? Because uh, TSM, there is no I ignite anymore. Uh, but they are not playing in the qualifiers. At least they are not signed up. Um, he definitely got kicked. Okay. That's what people are saying, but, um, it's sad. So he hundred percent got kicked. Sure. I mean, at the same time, it's hard to believe anything you see on Twitter. Cause they could just be trolling you back. Like, ah, I was just joking. I was on TSM this whole time, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, uh, 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 Lethemir just put something out like literally a minute ago. Let's read this puppy. Uh, this is really long. Uh, I'll put it up. You guys can't really see it well probably on here, but I'm just going to read it to myself. I'm not going to read all this stuff. Uh, so hold on. Let's go through this. Okay, he's saying he's leaving the team, but, uh, okay. Oh, okay, so they, like, he was going to get kicked, but he officially left. I think either way, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. I'll zoom it in for you guys if you do want to read it. <clears throat> Let's see, anything worth noting here? Looks like right now there's no moves coming out for Lethemir. Well, I was coming from Silent Echo, I guess, their coach. Okay, not too much. Like, the coach was also like, hey, yeah, we're going some other way. It's not really that big of a deal. Um,. Okay, so he's just kind of like, I kind of left, I kind of got kicked. Don't know what's coming in the future. He didn't really say a whole lot here. But, you know, kudos to the left for throwing that out. Um, we'll see what happens with him. Who knows? Uh, there's still some rosters that we don't know about, obviously. There's NRG. Uh, probably Drip to Ghost. I mean, they're, they're playing with Mist here. It's, uh, it's right here. It's right here. Right here on the list. Only Ray!
I'm pissed. <laughs> Complexity really likes to make dumb roster moves, I see. I guess so. I, I don't know. Like, who knows what's going on behind the scenes with Complexity, but personally, again, no offense to Greasy, but I think he would have been the one. Like, so like imagine Magnus Turbo and then Flakes. Like, Flakes, that wild card. You have Magnus and Turbo, that experience, the teamwork aspect. I don't know. It, se it seems like on paper... That would be an insane team, personally. But hey, you know, whatever. So Lethemir, he'll be a free agent. We'll see what happens there. The other teams that are not playing the qualifiers, as of right now, are uh, Cloud9. Like, uh, these rosters are locked, so they're not playing it. Cloud9, NRG. Uh, TSM is not in there. Um, what was the other one? Let's see. I'm going to... Uh, if anyone knows of other rosters like where was i Ignite going like i think he was going somewhere like it got leaked oh yeah he's playing on triple trouble i'm sorry that that was the one I, for, I forgot to mention so he's playing on triple trouble for cassio sorry there's been a lot of roster moves over the past little bit here and that was the first one to come out so we all forget about it uh but he's playing on triple trouble so he might lose the tsm but at least he's still playing on an rlcs team which is pretty solid and a team that did better than tsm so we'll see how that goes uh, Casio right now is not anywhere to my knowledge, but, um, none of these black bars have the same width and it's triggering me. <laughs> uh, I think they do. They look like they have the same width. It might just be an, oh no, never mind. These definitely do not. Oh yeah. never mind. Cause, cause someone just screenshotted this. Like these three do, but that's about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are the roster moves so far. We don't know who energy's third is. Who knows? Maybe it's someone from Cloud9. Maybe that's why Cloud9's not playing. Speculate on that. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? No one knows. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun to figure that out, but that'll be in a little bit. Um, they don't have to officially announce anything for a really long time. And the same thing with all these rosters is this is all a trial period, right? Because say you do bad in qualifiers, well... You don't have to play with this team anymore. You could swap it up again. It doesn't really matter. There is no RLCS roster log anytime soon. So we'll see how that goes. And it's going to be interesting. We still have to find out who's Energy's third and uh, who's TSM's third. My th uh, thoughts are probably Flakes, but who knows? I, I think it would be dumb if TSM didn't pick up Flakes because the one thing they need is offense. That's the one thing TSM like, seems like they can't do. So just let Flakes do it all <laughs> and then just play defense. And then uh, that would probably work pretty well. Who knows? Uh, uh, Energy Tournament confirmed leaked. I honestly have no idea. But, um, yeah, so these are the roster moves so far. We'll see if any more come to fr uh, fruition after. Uh, the one move that I'm still thinking, like, it probably won't happen, but... Like, always keep in mind, like, I think one blockbustery type move that could happen, which probably won't now, because uh, Splice is gone. But if Splice was still around, uh, imagine, like, Gyro left Rettles and played with, like, Karma and Jay Wismont. Because then the peeps would lose their spot, Splice would gain the spot, and then go back into the ROCS. So Gyro would still have full control, and Rettles would get screwed in that situation. It's like, or the other way around, right? Having Rettles do that. Uh, but that could have been an option with an org attached to something. Uh, one other note here, there's no drip A on any of these rosters, which is surprising. You would think, like, say I was the peeps, right? And I'm getting into the RLCS. I'm like, man, I don't have a roster. Or, like, I don't have an org. I would just pick up drip A to cash in, man. Like, he's a pretty good player. You can figure out how to work it out and just cash in and get that EG money. Like, hey, man, get paid while you can, right? I don't know. I would just go with that, but who knows? Like, I guess it'd be hard because they wouldn't have control. It would always be like, here's Drip A, and here's the other two, right? So, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Bad Liar gives you no... No, I really don't. Like, I uh, purposely don't try and find out roster moves all that much. Like, I heard some rumors at DreamHack Montreal, and it was funny because one of the main rumors was TSM's going to stay together. <laughs> that was one of the main rumors and it's like that obviously didn't happen so it's like rumors don't really matter anyway um 
But yeah, uh, so some of the other rumors that were going around was Bluey being kicked from Barcelona uh, in terms of on a Liquipedia, I think, or on Reddit or something like that. But he's obviously, he's still on the team. They're signed up together. Who knows if that was a possibility or if people just found that out or or just wanted to make up shit. Who knows? Uh, but right now they're they're staying together. So we'll see. See how that continues. Um but yeah, for now, the, these are the roster moves for Roster Mania. We're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. There'll probably be more. We'll see what teams bomb out of these qualifiers, and then we'll see what moves they make again. That's really what it comes down to. But at the end of the day, I think the bricks, it's positive. Ground zero, negative. Ghost, positive. Afterthought, we'll call it a positive. It's a brand new team. Renegade, positive. Dig, negative. Chiefs. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. So negative <laughs> method, uh, positive peeps, negative complexity, negative, but that's what I got. So, well, neutral, we'll call complexity neutral. It's more cause I just thought it would be like, like turbo for flakes, whatever. That's like neutral ish. I would say, uh, it depends on how the team plays together. Uh, but I just thought it would be a different roster swap there personally. Um, do I have a link for this? Yes. It's on Reddit. I will, um, it's like right on top of Reddit. If you go to the Rocket League Esports Reddit, just just head on over there. I'll link it in the YouTube below as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or any thoughts, feel free to post them. You're obviously on display. You can see all my all my bookmarks. <laughs> yes, I should full screen. It's a little late now, but what do we get here? We got an anonymous gifter gave DCK Javis a tier one sub. What's up? What's up, an anonymos gifter? Look, it's a ghost. It's a like it shows it as a ghost here. Maybe it was Lethemir. Oh wait. Is that too soon? That was too soon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh all right, anyway. Not to joke around. Obviously it sucks when you get kicked by a team. Like that's you know like these guys are making a like a decent salary on these squads. Say I ignite. Like I'd be pretty ticked about leaving TSM. Like you're making a decent salary. Um an anonymous cheerer. Thanks for the bitty. Um, but, uh, yeah, it sucks. Like it, like, it always sucks when people get, like, swapped out. But at the end of the day, you know, there's only 24 spots, right? So, you got to do what you got to do. And I think Lathamir will be just fine. Uh, even if he's not playing in the RLCS, I think he'll just be just fine. So, see how it goes. Uh, but, yep. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back um, with more roster shakedowns, probably after qualifiers. We'll probably go over the qualifiers. We'll recap them, and then uh, we'll speculate some more until the next RLCS season, whenever that may be. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye to YouTube, Twitch chat. Bye. Like, I'm still going to be hanging around, but say bye to YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's move this over.